All right, in this video we're going to prove the volume of a cone is one-third pi r squared times its height. So you can see the picture is here. We basically have a line, a straight line, and we're revolving this line around the x-axis. So let's label this graph. This height, this, this spot right here, correlates to r. So that point will be zero r. And then this length here, we'll call h. So the x-intercept is h, and the y-intercept is r. OK, so we always need a function to revolve. It's always an f of x. So this function is a straight line, y equals, well, the slope is down r over h. So that's minus r over h, x plus r r being the y-intercept. So there's our function. That's the hardest part of this whole problem, is just to determine the function. And then now we're going to revolve it. So to do that, we need an integral pi r squared, r being the radius, r being our function. So minus r h x plus r squared dx uh, from 0 to h. OK. Expand this. We get 0 to h of minus r over hx plus r minus r over hx plus r dx. And this will give us plus r squared over h squared x squared. And this should be minus 2 r over h x. I get this piece and then the exact same thing. So that will give us two of them. It's actually an r squared. And plus r squared dx. All right, so now we will integrate. So we have pi r squared over h squared. And then the integral of x squared is 1 third x cubed minus. And this one right here will be well, the integral of x is 1 half x squared. So that half and 2 will go away. So that's r squared over h x squared plus, and the integral of r squared is just r squared x from 0 to h. OK, so now plug in h. So we get pi r squared over h squared 1 third h cubed minus r squared over h h squared plus r squared h. And this is all subtract 0. Since they all have zeros, so they'll all be 0. So now we can simplify this. We will have just an h. We will have just an h. And so now we'll have 1 third r squared h minus r squared h plus r squared h. You can see the, these will go away. And we're left with 1 third pi r squared h, which is our formula.